Number 63. Explain why the addition of NH3 and HNO3 to a saturated solution of Ag2CO3 in contact with solid Ag2CO3 increases the solubility of the solid. Okay, so just a couple of definitions here, right? One big one that I see is when they say that we're increasing the solubility, that means that basically you're going to have more dissolution. If you're increasing the solubility, that just means that more of your solid is getting converted into its ions. So we could say here that increasing the solubility just means more ions produced, more of the charged, uh, you know, the cation and the anion. Okay, so basically we just want to figure out why when we add NH3 and HNO3, why do we actually produce more ions in solution? Well, the first thing we have to write out is let's just see what the ions are produced in this saturated solution, right? If you're saturated, this goes back to saying that you have a KSP. Now, for this question, we don't really need to know what the KSP is of Ag2CO3. We just need to know what the ions are. So in this case, we have Ag. 2 CO3, that's the solid. This comes to equilibrium and it breaks down into its two ions. We have Ag plus the carbonate ion, CO3. Now, what are the charges for silver and carbonate? I think the easiest way here is to just memorize. I don't mean to say that, but sometimes memorization is the easiest form. Silver only has one charge, even though it's a transition metal, it has a plus one charge and all carbonate ions are a two minus. So this would be a negative two. You could also get the charges by crisscrossing the subscripts. You had two AGs that went up to carbonate, negative two, and you had one carbonate that crisscrossed up telling you that you had a plus, uh, you had one plus for silver. And then here are your ions, right? Ions, charges. So in this case, if we're increasing the solubility, that means that we're favoring the product side, right? Because I could go both ways. I could make more solid or I could make more of my ions. For some reason, I'm making more of my ions, which means that the forward reaction is preferred. Okay, well, why is that? Well, let's see. It kind of goes back to Le Chatelier's principle. Remember, if you're going towards a side, chances are you're probably removing these ions somewhere. Let's see why. We're adding NH3 and HNO3. Now, since we're starting our complex ion journey, there are some metals that interact with ligands to form a complex ion, and NH3 is one of them. So anytime that you're adding ammonia or NH3, Ag plus will want to actually combine with NH3. And what they form is something called a complex ion, where you have a metal and a ligand. So in this case, the specific complex ion that's formed is AgNH32. Now, how did I know that there was two NH3s that were produced? Well, there's only a certain amount of complex ions, and all the time, when silver is combining with ammonia, you need two of them. And the overall charge of the complex ion for this is positive. So this is just going back to what is in, in the back of the textbook. And then we need two ammonias. Now, do we need the real balanced equation to know this? No, but this is background information to show you that when you have ammonia, the AG is going to want to hook up, which means that where are we pulling this AG from? Oh, the original equation. So if the AG basically is not going to be in this equation and it's going here, right? So it was here and now it's like, nah, I'm going to bind with NH3. That means that the AG is going to be lowered. And according to Le Chatelier's, if you are lowering a concentration, you have to get it back. And that's why you're going to increase your solubility. You're going to pref you know, prefer the forward reaction. 
The other thing is HNO3. Now HNO3, if I just put that over here, remember HNO3, this is one of your strong acids. And that means that this will break down 100% into its two ions. And the two ions are H plus and NO3 minus. So H plus is going to want to hook up with the negative carbonate, right? H plus, negative carbonate, that's the one that the carbonate's going to want to be with, right? Opposites attract. So if I put H plus, plus CO3 two minus, you will actually form H2 CO3. And then this will, you know, break down and produce something else. But for this case and purposes, we don't care about that. Just know that you need two H pluses. But the idea here is that the carbonate, since you have now that acidic H, it will now want to be with that equation. And the CO3 two minus will also be reduced because it's now going into this equation. And that's also another reason why you're favoring the forward ion. So it's because you are making new equations. And because you're making new equations, your ions are becoming stripped away from the original solution. So you have to produce more of it because of Le Chatelier's principle. So making new equations, and this is all because of Le Chat, I believe it's L-I-E-R-S principle. How if you get rid of something, you have to get it back because we're in equilibrium. All right. Okie dokie. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. Thank you so much for that. And I will be talking to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.